Indiana, that's a no! Victoria meets a dangerously hyperactive dog. See, so he doesn't listen. He just gets even crazy. Exactly. No! An overwhelmed mother of two. Jumping, mouthing, no! He does not no. stop. One day, bang, he's gonna make contact and somebody's gonna be in hospital. It's no. insane. It's absolutely chaotic, is how I describe our household. The biggest problem that I have with Indiana, it's the biting and the attacking. No! Look at what Indy did to me today. Made me bleed. I've been bitten at least 100 times by Indiana, and that's not an exaggeration. With Indiana running rings around Joe and Karen, dog trainer Victoria Stillwell is their last hope. Nice to meet you, it's Victoria. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Oh, and this? This is Indiana. Oh, Indiana. We are very happy you're here. Hello. Hi, I'm Joe. You're Joe. Hey, nice to nice meet to you, Joe. Okay. Nice to meet you. And this is Easy does it. So, no, off. So, how old is he? India's seven months. Seven months. Yeah, he's a tough cookie. He just had a little bit of an episode right before you came. What do you mean? And he he just sort of started attacking me. I got bite on the belly, bite on the arm. That one there. This one? Yes. Have you ever had him look at you and go Bam, and yes, nail you? We have. That's happened a couple of times. And I was like, oh, no right. way. That's crazy. I'm hoping that he'll grow out of it. Indiana gets angry, and that's when he bites. Karen and Joe have got to realize the severity of the situation, because Indiana's only going to keep growing, and he's going to become a big, powerful dog. What I see concerns me. You have a, a dog that is just on that brink of becoming extremely dangerous. Stand up. When he jumps up on you, you turn your back. Turn your back. Keep turning your back. Hey. He yes. really is trying to bite you. Yeah, he will, he will go at me. Hey, I felt. No. Indy, no, off. Indy's behavior worsens, so Victoria changes tactics. I have to stop that behavior right now. All right, now, take this and block his bites. I gave Karen a clipboard that she could just hold in front of her to block his bites. Block the fight. There you go. Indy's jumping and biting at me as usual, trying to get the ball out of my hand. And I'm just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing this going the way we need it to right now. Off. He just got even more excited. Oh my gosh, he does not stop. See, he doesn't listen. He just gets even crazier. Exactly. Get me the leash. Get me the leash. The clipboard wasn't working, so I had to change tactic really, really quickly. Don't chase him. Don't chase him. He's out of control. So you just stay there. Karen must stand her ground and not give Indiana any attention until he calms down. He's fine. Like, mm. Go put the leash on him. Okay. Tell him, good boy. I want him to see that if he wants something and he wants it badly, that he has got to offer you good behavior, that he can't bite at you anymore. Indiana, when he doesn't have anything to do, he turns on his person. So it's really important to keep that mind activated. And a series of toys, I think, will be really beneficial for him. But he can't have that toy until he comes up to you and calmly sits in front of you, then he can have it. Walk up to him, ask him to sit. Sit. Now he gets the toy. Good, good boy. boy. Good boy, he gets it. Good boy. Very good, good boy. boy. He's got to start focusing on you. He's got to start listening to you. I want the family to be under no illusion about this process here. And he gets nothing, nothing unless he works for it. Yes, I'm giving you the tools. Yes, you've got to work hard. But there is a seed in my mind that says this could potentially be very difficult. He bites. What's the intention behind the bites? Most of the time it's play, then sometimes it turns nasty. It's the nasty ones that really concern me. One day when he really intends to hurt somebody, bang, he's going to make contact and somebody's going to be in hospital. I'm sorry. I just got to be truthful with you. You might not have the environment that's right for this dog. 
I get upset because I knew from the word go, I knew it in my, I just knew it. And now we're faced with this. What we're gonna do, this is the leave it. Leave it is just a great technique in getting a dog to be able to control its impulses. I have to get him to want to focus and listen to his owners. And if that doesn't happen, Indiana will end up in a shelter or worse, he's gonna end up being put down. I'm gonna tell him, all right, now you have to respect that when I say leave it, you've got to move away from something. There's some food in my hand. I'm gonna show him it, and if he goes towards it, it goes away. Indiana has no impulse control whatsoever, so I think it's gonna be really hard for him to inhibit his behavior. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Indy just seems to be fixated on getting at the treat, and I'm afraid that he may not get this technique the way he needs to. Uh-oh. Good. His head turned away from it, that's what I want. Leave it. Good. Nice. So it's when he... Yeah, when he goes like that. ...controls himself, then he gets it. Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hold now. So you show him the treat, tell him to leave it, and then reward him if he does. OK. OK. Leave it. I don't want him snapping. Leave it. Leave it. Nice. Now, tell him good boy. Good boy. Yeah. This is hard for him. Yes, I see that. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's struggling. Like, oh, can get <laughs> He knows what to do now, but he's got to get through that momentary, I've got to inhibit my behavior, and then I'll get something good. This is really important for a dog like this to have a bit of impulse control. Good. Indy is showing progress, but to further curb his mouthing and biting, Victoria takes him for a test to see what kind of outlet would be best for him. So Karen and Joe, this is John and Andy. Hey, how are you? Andy, tell us what you do. We train dogs for detection work, whether it be narcotics, explosives, bed bugs, gas line detection. And we're gonna just show you how a couple of these dogs work and how we might be able to interact your dog with some of the games the dogs can play. They'll learn more about their dog and about their dog's drives when they see Andy and John working with their dogs. That's Let me go exciting. run her. You ready? Good girl. You've hidden explosives. We've hidden explosives out here. Back. Check it. Good. Back here. Check it. Good. Check here. Good girl. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. And that in here. That is amazing. That's insane. Wow. It was so fantastic. I was actually thinking, wow, this would be really cool, something cool for Indy to do. Because she's an explosive dog, she sits real slowly, makes no Stop. sudden moves, doesn't put her paws on anything. So let's see this dog. Yes. OK. Now Andy tests Indy to see what type of activity would best curb his aggression. Hey. This is Indy. What are you doing? I think Indy is probably going to do very well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him in action. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a <laughs> <good one>. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what do you think, Andy, from first impressions? Well, he's got a lot of prey drive, right? The will to chase something that's moving. Now we're going to see if he has some hunt drive. OK, OK. To gauge Indiana's hunt drive potential, Andy will hide a toy and see if he can find it. Andy! Look at that. What they doing? What they doing? Andy! What they doing? What they doing? Andy! OK, tell him, find it. Go, go, go. Go, go. Come on, Andy, go. find it. We discovered that his attention span was not there, and his drive to be that hunter was not completely there. But I think in the prey drive department, he was number one. Andy demonstrates a game that would help curb Indy's negative behavior by providing him with an outlet. As we have 
some of these narc bags, we call them. You can put anything you want in here. And then play with the dog. It goes out there. He brings it back. When he brings it back, you have another one. The more funny he's having and the more energy he's burning off, the less of a pain he's going to be, the more enjoyable he's going to have be to have around. There's a lot of energy and no real output. Right. Ready? Ready? Go get it. Nice. Good. One of the proudest things to me is the way Indiana took the training. He really just took the instruction and ran with it. Ready? Go get it. Nice. Good. Beautiful. You worked very hard, and I do think there is hope. I'm feeling very positive, and I feel as long as we work together and commit ourselves, we can continue on the right path. We really like to try and keep them in the family. I'm nervous about Victoria leaving, but, you know, got to put on your big girl underwear and do what you got to do. It's been two weeks since I left Karen and Joe, and the whole family has made a complete turnaround. Off, <laughs> off, the boy. Life before Victoria got here was a horror. Um, seriously, I was at the end of my rope. I had no hope at all that Indy could be helped. Touch, good boy. And I feel differently now. I feel we could actually turn it around. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.